It's the holidays. We're down here in Chelsea at the Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery with the owners, Ruthie, Ruthie Tucker. Ruthie and, Tucker and my husband. And I'm His Excellency, the Ambassador, Ambassador Dr. Amsterdam, the third co-owner of the distinguished Amsterdam Whitney Gallery and Miss Ruthie's lesser half. And we thank Crystal Hart for inviting us to be on the Crystal Hart Show and the Holiday Show. We are delighted to be here. Welcome to Amsterdam Whitney Gallery, which is located in the heart of Chelsea on West 25th Street between 10th and 11th Avenues, featuring the most exciting contemporary rising star artist of the 21st century. Thank you, Crystal. With us from Washington, D.C., Karen Seolik Tylig. Hi, good evening and Merry Christmas. Uh, same to you. Now, Karen, tell us about this new uh, set of, of uh, what, paintings? Or? The new series of paintings, yes. It's called Winter's First Kiss, and it's a series of eight paintings that have been done on two different kinds of paper and have two different, different media on them, and it is uh, done with pigmented ink and acrylic. And um, that's basically sidewalk scenes with frosted over leaves, and thus the title of the series, Winter's First Kiss. I introduce you to Thomas Davis, one of the South's rising stars. Well, I enjoy painting oil paintings that last a lifetime and beyond. And I travel all around the world. I go to uh, different places like Rome, Italy, Portofino, France, and I take photographs of storefront windows because I like to capture the fashion that's inside the window, but yet the architecture and the essence of a city that's reflected upon the glass. So if you look at these behind me, they're all different scenes of, this one's actually Manhattan, Fifth Avenue. And I capture what's reflected on the glass and then capture the fashion within. Ruthie, our next artist? Our next artist has traveled from Australia, Miss Siglinda Batley, who is of German descent, German birth, who's living in Australia. And this is her astonishing triptych that's behind us. And it is the moon rises with part one, part two, and part three. Well, I am a storyteller. I tell stories in my paintings, and this is a story for me traveling from Australia to Italy and back to Australia. I do this once a year, but it's stories within stories. They are stories I not always tell everybody. They can interpret it as they like, but um, I work like that all the time. Our next artist comes all the way from Seattle, Jennifer McLean. Hello, happy holidays. Happy holidays. I base my work on um, my theoretical study in, ph in physics. So um, I don't do the math part of physics, but I study the theory of physics. And it's influenced by my study there and also travel. And, and what's the theory of physics? Well, one of the um, concepts that I enjoy exploring is how things show up micro, microscopically and macroly in the universe. And hexagons um, are the molecular structure of water, but they also just found a huge hexagon on the backside of Saturn. And then, of course, beehives are hexagons. Happy holidays, everyone. We're here with Penelope Chisano. Chisano. <laughs> yes. Now. We have seen you here before, but, but how have things changed since we last spoke? Everything has a, uh, a history, to, so to speak, and it's all done on recycled paper. The frames are recycled, and so is the mat. From I've got a fabulous framer in Pelham, New York, so it's just fun to do, and I'm just grateful that I can come here to this gallery. So, you know, Crystal, if you're looking for, like, deep, uh, intellectual. Do I look like I'm looking for deep? <laughs> <laughs> but I can get deep. Deep, yeah? But, uh, yeah, no, no, not here. <laughs> Rudely, Mikey, I'm romantic. I just laughing on that one. You like that one. <laughs> it's a happy holiday. Same to you, Crystal. Oh, good to see you Thank again. You. you too, honey. <laughs> Thank Take care. You. With us is Aline Weiss, and where are you from, Aline? New York. Oh, from New York. Yes. And I'm looking, uh, your work is behind us and on this side. Now, yes. it, it looks a little dark in, a, in its own way, but oh, could, really? could, could you uh, give a description? Well, I think they're more pensive. Okay, pensive you know, might be a better word. They're funny and there's something sad, you know, but that doesn't mean it's in me necessarily. And it's just that I, I do figurative, abstract, and still life. But right now I am doing figurative. 
and it's with acrylic, not oils. And how do you pick your subject? It just comes to my head. It just, I could start it with the background and all of a sudden it creates a figure. All the way from Montana. Montana. Mary Big Nath. sky. <laughs> How do you like uh, New York City? Oh, we have had a wonderful time. Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're, it's one of the best seasons, oh, the holidays. Oh, my goodness, yes. We were, have, en have enjoyed the lights and the time and the city, and it's been wonderful. And tell us a little bit about uh, your work and your philosophy behind your work, your concept. My work is fused glass. And the glass is put in a kiln, and I melt the glass, I paint it, I melt it, I paint it. I add layers for the dimension. And uh, my philosophy is just beautiful lines, shapes, colors, and design. Glass? You're saying it's glass? Mm -hmm. And it is put in a kiln oh. and fired to a high degree, and then taken out and fired again after I repaint it. And it's just a process. So happy holidays. I'm Crystal Hart. I'm reporting from Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery in Chelsea, New York. Once again, happy holidays.